welcome back in this video let's discuss about an exercise related to inheritance what we want to do is we want to create a class called employee we want to extend the person class so you would want to extend the person class and create a class called employee and the employee should have a title and a employer name a employee grade salary so these are the four fields in addition to those which are present in person that we would want to have in employee class and also we would want to create a two string method in employee which would print all the values including those of the person so from the employee class i would also want to print all the values which are present in the person as well this is because when i'm trying to print an employee it means i am printing not only the title employer employee grade and salary but also i would want to print the name phone and email you can pause the video in here and you can try that as an exercise now let's look at the solution for this what we want to do is create a new class called employee so employee if you want to actually extend and identify the super class in here you can do that as well i'll do it inside the code itself implement not sorry implement it extends extends person and the attributes which we want to have a title so i'll say private string title private let's have it as a string for now employer name private care employee grade and private I would want to be accurate with the salaries so let's put big decimal salary you can do a control one and import java.math.bigdecimal that's cool i can do a right click source generate and get a setters and select everything so select all and press enter so now we have our employee class ready right so if i now go to the runner class and let's comment this code out and let's say i would want to create an employee class employee employee is equal to new employee employee dot set you can see that i get the set name set email and also the set phone number which are from the person class you can see person highlighted in the text in here as well small font and you would also have the methods which we have defined inside the employee class also so that's cool right so now we have all the methods that we have defined in here now let's go ahead and set values into it so i'll just try and copy the stuff which is present in here so instead of person it's employee and let's set a couple of details directly on the employee as well so employee dot set employer employee grade let's say his grade is a and employee dot set title let's call him programmer analyst right so let's set a few details in here now what we want to do the last exercise was to implement a two string to print all the values including those of person so how do we do that system how do we invoke two string so all that i need to do is say system dot out dot print ln employee right so now oops not caps it should be small now let if we run this what would happen now this is the two string which is being printed right ranga ranga at in 28 minutes.com 1234567890 you can see that in the employee class we do not have a two string method at all where do we have the two string method inside the person class and that is what is written in the name email and the phone number so let's now quickly go ahead and implement the same thing in the employee class right so in the employee class let's do that so i'll say title employee name employee name actually it's employer name right and employee grade cool right so i'm not printing the salary let's we would want to keep salary private so let's not print that so if i run this so it's printing programmer analyst null because we did not set an employer name and it's printing a employee grade that's cool right so what we are doing in here student runner is we are trying to print the employee and these three these two values are getting printed but these three are not getting printed now 
how can I also print these values? Think about it. How can I access the values of the person class from the employee class? You can use something called a super. So I can say hash plus super dot get email. Super dot allows you to get values from the super class. Here I'm invoking a super class method here. So let's run this. You'd see that email is now appended. Even better option to do this is by saying, I'll, instead of appending at the end, I'll append at the start, right? Super dot to string plus hash. So what we are doing is we are calling to string on the super and then appending the specific details of this one. What would happen? It would now go ahead and append all the details. So these are all coming from the super class and these are from the subclass. In this short video, we were creating the employee class. We created four attributes. We extended the person class and we implemented the toString method and we called the super.toString. Without the super.toString, the super class toString was not getting called. So only the details which are present in the employee were being printed. The details which are present in the person class were not getting printed. To enable that, we actually did a super.toString which also got the details of the person. And now when we print the content of the employee class, we also see the content of the person class and the employee class. And that's cool. That's all for this step. And I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.